And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Quantosaurus, which was a request from Jack Draw, so thanks. It was an ornithopod that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Australia when it was south of the Antarctic Circle. It was a bipedal and herbivorous dinosaur, and the lower jaw had 10 teeth. Based on relatives, Quantosaurus would have had short thighs and long shins and been a fast runner. So it probably ran away from predators, similar to the way a gazelle does. Quantosaurus had claws on its feet and a long tail that was stiffened by ossified tendons that helped it with turning. It was about 6 feet, or 1.8 meters long, and it probably had a beak and leaf-shaped teeth in the back. Quantosaurus was a browser. It probably ate ferns and other vegetation using its hands, and it may have traveled in herds or flocks. It lived Hmm. in a polar region, and it probably lived in cold temperatures, 21 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 6 to 5 degrees Celsius. And... It was coldest during polar nights, which could last up to three months. Quantosaurus probably adapted to survive the cold. Its relatives, though, were active throughout the year, no hibernation. There have been dinosaur burrows, possibly of small ornithopods, found along the southern Victorian coasts, which might be Quantosaurus. Quantosaurus was found in 1996 as part of the Dinosaur Dreaming Project, which was run by Monash University and the National Museum of Victoria. It was found by Nicole Everett, and described in 1999 by Patricia Vickers Rich and Tom Rich. It was found near Inverloch. Only the jaw fragments are known. This is based on the jaw fragments. It probably had a short, stubby face. The holotype of Quantosaurus is of the left dentary of the lower jaw with 10 teeth. Two other jaws have been referred to Quantosaurus. They are found in the same year at the same site. And Patricia said, quote, The jaw is unique because it is short and stocky, whereas other jaws are long and slender. The type species is Quantosaurus intrepidus, and it's named after Qantas, the Australian airline, because (laughs) it shipped fossils around Australia as part of the Great Russian Dinosaurs exhibit between 1993 and 1996 and sponsored expeditions to South America and Eastern Europe. The name means Qantas lizard, and the species name means intrepid in Latin, which refers to the harsh climate that it lived in. There may be up to six types of small ornithopods that lived in the Cretaceous in Australia, but they're only known from fragments. Relatives include Atlas Copcosaurus and Lea Linosaura. The first Victorian ornithopods were categorized as Hypsilophodontidae, it's a mouthful, based on similarities in the skull and tooth structure to Hypsilophodontids found in Europe, but they're now thought to be a wastebasket taxon, so it's undergoing revision. The validity of Quantosaurus is under review. Some think that it is valid, others think that there's not enough diagnostic fossil material. So exactly like the jaw that we talked about earlier (laughs) from Argentina Mm -hmm. is just a jaw enough. Who's to say? For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.